Hello! Camera. Today I'm coming at you with raw iPhone footage because we are going on a little trip. A trip. A trip. Yeah. We are going to get some ingredients for chicken curry because I'm teaching you how to make chicken curry my dad's way. Okay, everyone has their own way. But there's no way like my dad's way. And so I have to go to the brown people's establishment. The brown people's central square. The brown people's square. The brown people's town square. Basically a Bengali market. We're gonna get onion garlic, curry powder, and according to my mom, chicken curry powder, and chicken. That's it. Simple. That's why it's our chicken curry. It's not your chicken curry where you add your tomatoes or you do whatever else you do, what you do, but we do it the way we do it. Oh my god, I almost forgot potatoes. And so, oop, very, very shaky cam told you it's raw iPhone footage do you feel like you're in Jurassic Park because I do sometimes I will say one thing about me going on this voyage I um, gave up my parking spot to do this that's how committed I am to this project to go get these ingredients oh my god my pink car that's a sign my dad got me that car So this first stop is very important to me because it's the market that my dad would always take me to and I remember his big sell was that Anthony Bourdain came here. Found the curry powder! This next stop is in the valley and you could tell precisely the moment of which I got really shy filming here. Third stop underway because I'm having a really hard time finding chicken curry powder, but I really love the store. It was my first time going and it was so well stocked, it had really cool decorations, and no one was around, so I felt very comfortable filming, as you can tell by the varied shots. I was still shy, but not as shy as the last place where I definitely froze when he asked me if I needed help. Walking through here definitely brought back a lot of memories. Um, I went to three different stores and they didn't have chicken curry powder. So... So what do I do? Chicken powder? Chicken curry powder? Yeah, that's what I you said. No. Chicken chicken masala. <gasps> you said chicken curry powder. I went to three different places. I asked them for chicken curry powder. They looked at me like I was crazy. Why are you getting so mad? Why are you so impatient? Impatient? Me? No, man. I'ma go. Yeah. All right, everyone. So one more thing before everyone hops off. Oh my God, here we go. Uh, Tamara, you're not on mute. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I meant like, here we go. Something great is going to be said. Sorry. Okay. 
Yeah, hello? Yeah, I've been on hold for five hours at least. Well, mama, you're the one who called me. So, yeah, I'll see you on Saturday. Can you make some magluba? Okay, yalla, bye. This was the exact moment I found out I was impatient. Patience is a virtue. You'll need it for this recipe. You're also gonna need an onion. Chop it up into slices. Yellow onion is preferred. It's okay if you cry. These are gangster tears. You'll need some garlic. It depends on how much meat you choose to make. For instance, I had six pieces of drumsticks. So I'm gonna use six cloves of garlic. And you wanna peel them and chop them up. Add some oil to a pot, the onions and the garlic, and mix it around so it's evenly coated. Now for the curry powder. Don't be shy, give it a whiff. It smells like home, honestly. So I'm gonna use these two different shan boxes in place of the chicken masala. Add a heaping tablespoon of each of these curries. Add a cup of water to start to form the paste. Chop up some potatoes, you're gonna need them later. Add your meat of choice. You can add beef, chicken, lamb, or vegetables if you're a vegetarian. Get a better spoon because that one just isn't working. Move the can opener out of the way. Probably won't close, so I'll put it over here. But check out my cute coasters. Let it cook for 40 minutes. So I'm really upset right now because you're not supposed to like walk away from the curry. You're supposed to keep stirring it during those 40 minutes and it kind of like congealed at the bottom and it's just like I'm so upset with myself but also people make mistakes I make mistakes and it's okay you just try again next time still gonna come out okay I just like this video has taken me two weeks I think to do and it's just been on my mind and there's just so much going on and so many things that were just like setbacks or whatever outside of the video itself I just need a moment My dad was a very patient man. Whether it was cooking or telling a story, he always took his time. If he was doing something for someone, like cooking chicken curry, he wouldn't skip any steps or rush through the process. He'd pour his whole heart into it. The curry came out pretty good, actually. make sure that you eat it with your hands. It's the only way. I have to be more patient with myself. Through the mistakes, through the setbacks, through this process of grief. Because some days are gonna be harder than others. And on those days, that's when I'm going to need patience the most. I could go on for hours talking about how patient my father was. And I'm grateful for him for showing me how to be patient with myself and others. In 
a world that values speed over value. I hope you choose to take your time. Take care of yourself.